Okay, I got cut off there. Um, what I was saying is enjoying um, the day-to-day -day process, the process of getting healthy rather than only focusing on the outcome, wherever it is you're trying to go, and the distance between here and there, because that can be very disheartening and um, just deflating when you're always looking at like, oh, I'm not there, I'm not to my goal yet, but instead learning to enjoy the process and um, yeah, just like the, the little things you're doing for yourself on a day-to-day -day basis that are getting you closer to where you're going. And that I have found makes the whole the whole process of um, trying to improve your health and make changes in your body much more enjoyable and more sustainable. It's just like more motivating when you truly are enjoying the day-to-day -day things that you're doing for yourself. And then finally, the last thing I wanted to share is that's been helpful for me in this process of improving my relationship to myself and my body as I'm making health improvements is learning to loosen up and to remember that health and body changes are generally not linear, like the pro the process or the progress is not linear. Sometimes there are setbacks, there are ebbs and flows in whatever it is that you're measuring, like strength or health metrics or weight. And just learn, like being okay with that really helped me to just like lighten up and um, to know that health is a daily practice. It's not a destination that I'm getting to. It's not like I get there, there one day, and then I get to um, stop doing things to take care of my body. We'll be in these human bodies forever. And so when um, I could just remember like the the large picture of what's going on and not be so um, controlling and um yeah just in that that energy of control around it all and it, like all needing to go perfectly the whole time and instead just like loosen up and allow there to be like fluctuations and allow myself to have self-trust that like maybe today I need a rest day instead of going to work out or today maybe healthy looks like in having like the cookie or something or maybe healthy you know just like trusting myself to take care of my own body and trusting the process and loosening up about it all um, has also been very helpful in my journey. So if you are on your own health journey in, of body changes and, um, you know, if you're <laughs> examining your relationship to this body, um, which we are all in as we move through this lifetime, I hope that we're, there were some mindset shifts in here that were helpful to you, that can serve you on your own journey. Um, for me, some of the key takeaways that um, I really wanted to get across are the value of looking at health from a more holistic perspective and, not, you know, beyond it just um, like what you're doing for your nutrition um, or your exercise, but looking at health from supporting yourself in terms of like, um, yeah, more holistic perspective, like I talked about. Learning to look at, at metrics other than just your weight as signs of health. Learning to take joy in the process of improving your health and not just being focused on the outcome and remembering that the path is rarely linear and that um, that's okay because you're in it for the long haul. I'm in it for the long haul. Um, health is a lifelong practice. All right, my friends. Again, I hope this was helpful to you. Let me know in the comments um, if it resonated with you and I will see you next time.